Okay, perfect. Um, this is really simple. You're gonna make, you're gonna use the back side of these as the mold, right? So all you need to do is just prep the prep these things. So these are in nice shape. Um, everybody, so what you're gonna end up doing is just uh, cleaning it, waxing it with some mold release wax, and then once everybody's past the mold release wax, it's a layer of PVA, and then we just start cutting carbon and doing laps. All right. Um, I'm gonna bag this one. Um, so this is going to be like the big project of the day. Waxing. Um, and how much do you want to get on there? You don't want to get any on there permanently. You want to wax it like you're waxing your car, right. except for you don't want to let it dry. I've found good luck with, you know, it's like, here, let me just see for a second. Right, so it's like, and you want to cover, you know, all the surfaces. So it's just, you know, all right, a little bit on there. And then I just take it right off, especially for parts like this. Um, Aluminum actually works, <laughs> like you almost don't need anything like this, right. you can pry this stuff off but it doesn't really want to bond to it, but you want to, you know, it's a good precaution. Um, and also, go at it until there's no, you know, Streaks. wax lines left on it. You want to get all that residue off, because those will imprint into the part. Okay. Hard to believe that that might be. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. What is your PVA? This is um, stuff that, well, you can see what it dries to. It dries to this super, super thin film. Mm -hmm. So what you're actually doing is completely protecting this mold from ever actually being touched by anything. So you're not, you're, you know, this is just, a, it's the magical stuff. <laughs> so I just, you know, and, and it's funny because you see stuff online, like did some of you guys see that video that got posted on, on the Fender Building link? There's like an hour-long video by got this company that does like speaker enclosures and stuff and it's actually pretty good it's a lot of the um, basic stuff um, but he's like got the big sprayer and he's spraying the PVA on and <laughs> I just do this honey bear all right so you just want to get a layer of it on here now see I'm kind of screwed because I don't really hear you got to take over like immediately but you know I'm not pushing hard I'm just trying to make sure that it's not puddled and everything's covered. Okay, so now hit the other side of it. Is there a time? Uh, yeah, well you want to keep it yeah, you want to keep it um, you want to keep the edges if you're moving into a different place. You want to keep it moist and once it starts to set up, don't touch it cuz you peel it right off. Okay. And it sort of self levels too. Okay, so you don't have to worry yeah, about it. No, don't even come down here anymore. You're done. And you don't have to worry about it. If it's too thick, it'll flatten out. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, there's it's getting done. And then if you watch it, you can't, you know, you won't be able to see it. Everyone won't be able to see it. But if you just kind of, you'll see it's, like, it looks like there's stuff on there right now because it's wet. Mm -hmm. But as soon as it dries, it, 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 just dis it just disappears. So that part's ready for layout. These are called metering pumps, and uh, this particular set, there's ratios of epoxy. Some are one to one, some are whatever they are to one. These pumps are set up as a kit, as a set, so that the big one pumps out one squirt of that and one squirt of this. And this is the right mixture. Now, it's like, what about the drip? Isn't that, you know, it's not the exact right measurement. Well, if you want to get a scale and measure it out, you go ahead. And in the end, it's probably perfect, but I have never had a problem. But uh, one of the techniques to avoid having to vacuum bag any of the tricky parts is to paint on the first layer of the epoxy and let it set till it's almost dry. It's just, you can, you can leave a fingerprint in it, but it won't come off on your finger. And then you can take the first layer of the material and basically press it into that, and it'll hold around that tricky shape and then let that piece just sit there for a 